All right. Last time. Tiny wars. You small. picked up a problem. Small wars. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, we did. You picked up a problem. When we found a noble woman in the bushes. Oh, right. Yes, that did happen. It was the, literally the last I, thing. that happened. I legitimately forgot that happened. But yes, we found, a lady in, we found a lady in the bush. Yeah, because of what we left off with was, should I listen to this first? And Vinay and I both said, no. <laughs> Get ready for plot. Correct. That was yesterday, but uh, correct. Also last week. No, I like as soon as I have always ended these videos on the save data screen. But either way. I like that they don't preview the chapter names anymore. Until you hit right here, and then you know. Oh, that's sounds good. We're gonna get flyers, obviously. Clearly. Yes. Multiple. Marcia and her idiot brother. I did not look into any visual options or anything, so we are going hey. on the, the same stuff as last week. If any weirdness happens, yeah, don't worry about it. I think it looks fine. Mm -hmm. We had a slightly cursed Ike for like two levels, and then he pulled through. Ike's fine now. Yeah, Ike's fine now. He was bad for like until level five, and now he is 100% fine. I, I don't know. I didn't check his averages, but I think he's right around them. Too early again, to start it's, doing it's the too average early to game. really do that. Absolutely. Yeah. This, is, this is why I said it's too early. To the, o the only time we ever did the average game this early was when, uh, what's her name? Lynn? Yeah, when Lynn got like five strength levels in a row. Oh, it was more than that. <laughs> That's the only time I tweeted at you and I just said, you broke math, I hope you're happy. <laughs> we actually went through this doo-doo fest starting up. I was like, wait, you tweeted at me once, what? Because Crumb literally just uses his Twitter account for, for uh, Fiesta. I called it Fest on Fast, I don't have it. I mean, it's the same thing for us, it's fine. about that that's Ashnard. That's a really good name. Mm -hmm. uh, counterpoint, Ashnard kind of has the same mouthfeel as Zolbag. And it's a great name. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Crumb on this. Wait, people think Zolbag's a bad name? That name's fantastic. It has a bad mouthfeel. It sounds like an insult. Uh, yeah, that's the point. We're going to France to seek refuge. Or Pretty much. Was, anyway. Oh my god, 
God, these names I'm dying. Tanagus? So many of them start with C's. I'm gonna confuse Which them. Which ones? Give it time, we'll get more. I'm trying to think of what other names start with C's. One of the countries too. is named... Crimea? Yeah. Trust me, I will get confused. It's okay. I... They don't really look that similar. Vene, I'm really dumb. <laughs> look, you said it, not me. So... I say it all the time. I, I, I have to admit, I was looking at a couple names, and I actually put them into Google just to hear the, how they were pronounced, and as I put one name in there, I immediately realized, when we get to this character, this is going to be Newbie's favorite character by an absolute landslide, and I cannot wait for that character to show up. But yes, there are a bunch of people in this name uh, in this game whose names are fairly unpronounceable if you don't know the rhyme or reason of the names. Hmm, I'm trying to think. There are a couple that have like non-obvious pronunciations. Certainly, uh, there's one in particular coming up in not too too long. Again, it's just. You look at the name, and it depends on how what you put the inflection or pronunciation on. And again, we'll see there when we get there. Mm. We'll see it when we get there. I miss the heyday of Roy and Wendy. Oh, uh, that's Gwendolyn. Meanwhile, Titania's showing you what's up. Well, yeah, they're 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 chattering in the barracks mostly. Mm -hmm. hmm. By the way, she gets like a B plus on her armor. No covering of the stomach, but otherwise good enough. She's on a horse. Yeah, that's that's still a thing that she needs to cover. Yeah, you still wear armor plate because your your juicy pits are more at sword height when you're on a horse. Yes, I understand, but what I'm saying is that's a part of you that needs to bend fairly frequently when you're on horseback if you want to, you know, Generally, change the elevation okay, hold of up, your torso. Hold up, let's let's back up a second here. Generally, a horseback unit would be wielding a weapon that doesn't require them to bend, say, like a spear or a halberd or something like that. Halberd's a bad mm, example. A well, halberd bad. isn't a horseback weapon. Mm, a, says, yeah. a, a lance or a spear. A halberd is definitely a, a foot soldier's weapon held with two hands. Yeah, halberd is the anti-sword, or uh, horseback weapon. That's fair. But I, I was thinking just more polearmish sort of things. Yeah. Even cavalry swords are supposed to be somewhat longer. It depends. If it's a cavalryman's saber, it's a relatively short sword, curved, and held a weird way. Oh, yeah. To get maximum slashing potential. Mm-hmm. But again, people on horseback wear a lot of just weird stuff and move in different ways than you'd expect. Yeah, it generally depends on what you're going for. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people put a bunch of flowers and tubes on their backs so they make this weird whistling sound when they're charging you. Yeah. Polish cavalry. Pol yeah, that. Polish are weird. <laughs> How far away? This is like, what, chapter 5, 6? Five. Five. five, yeah, chapter yeah. five. I mean, we had a prologue, but that doesn't really count. The prologue of you fought two people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm looking for cuirassier armor. Uh, there's still lines on there. I did not. I, fix I, the again, line. the lines. It's super. Uh, minor. There, there, there is a way to pull up a, a conversation log. I think Zed. All right, here we go. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, is it this one? No? How about this one? No? There we go. Got there. Found it. 
<laughs> what button on my PlayStation 2 controller is a Z? Did you map Z to? But yes, there is a, a log function. That's handy. How far away does that go? Uh, let's find out. Literally to the beginning of the cutscene. Well then. I think it goes back the entire like conversation thing before combat. Yeah. It actually goes back further than that. That, like, oh, yeah. the Majin line is from the pre chapter four combat. It does. You're right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it notes the chapter break, too. I'm actually kind of interested. Hold up. I'm going to find that. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> that goes back really far. That's wild. It does. Anyway. Well, she's probably the princess. I guess we'll wait and see on what Dad does. Finally, it's happening. I called this two chapters ago. Oh, yeah. You, you said it and you were 100% right. Yeah, they modeled this map because we're going to use it as a map. All Nothing right. Else. I'd like everyone to know that the next conversation is one of the best ideas in this game. All right. No, that's actually 100% fair. assume that Soren is going to deliver the counterpoint. Yep. Yep. We're mercenaries. We don't give a shit about right and right. Yep. That is correct. <laughs> and Shion is also kind of always thinking for number one, so he agrees. Soren's a douchebag, but I think he's got the right idea. Again, he's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Also, Shannon is not down with going to Gallia. Oh, yeah, he isn't, is he? Yeah, we'll get there. We will get there. Some casual racism. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Gatry's like, well, I do like the cut of the princess's jib. <laughs> Gatry, Gatry, focus. Yeah, just focus. And yeah, Gatry's willing to defer to the boss man on this. What? Okay, a lot of people don't get, and maybe I don't get the definition of casual racism, but casual racism is literally just when you say something racist very casually, you just say it. And that's exactly what that was. He literally just in a conversation referred to a bunch of people as beasts. That is very casual racism. Mm hmm. Boyd is all for the big damn hero's plan because he's Boyd and therefore kind of a yutz. <laughs> Not necessarily yup wrong, mind you, but you know. Reese is Re Reese? Reese. Reese. Reese is Reese. just over here like I don't give a shit if she's a princess or not. I'm not just handing somebody over to die. But yes, I really do appreciate that Grail is like, alright folks. Let's uh This let's was hear this did not have to be in here. They could he could have just said we're gonna help her, but that he asked and everyone got to voice their opinion so you get more idea about each person's personality and character and yeah, the no, this is really good. a really good idea. Also yeah, it, was... it shows that I'm trying to remember how to pronounce his name, Grill? Grail? Grail. Grail. Like appreciates everyone's opinions. Yeah, I mean this is a small mercenary company. To some extent it runs by consensus. 
yeah, while his voice goes by for everybody else, it's one of those, look, I need to get your opinion because maybe you guys will miss something that I, or grab something that I missed. Exactly. You sure that's for the best? Yes, and also I'm not sure we have a choice anymore. Wait, what? Listen. Nothing. Yep. If you hear a silence, that's the worst. You want yep. animals to be making noise, as that means nobody's trying to sneak up on you. Yeah, like when bugs go quiet, it means there's somebody hanging out. Somebody is Just rustling outside. bushes enough to agitate the bugs and get them to leave. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Noobie's playing this map on normal mode. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Defense maps are usually very bad. On yes. Hard also, this, this map is like the last one. Like, the last one was a little bit of a step up. This is another stepwise increase in the difficulty curve. True, but you'll have a lot of people for this. You would on hard as well. It's just that the enemies hit a lot harder. Oh no, hard has another th problem. Oh, no, I think I know. Everything yes. on hard mode, you can't see shit. Yeah. Oh, is this a fog of war on fog hard? Fog of war. Yep. yep. Oh. I think I introduced it at some point. Also, oh, this game has fog of war. Yes. <laughs> also, this is this is the best division of forces ever. Everybody. Hold the front. Yeah. Grail holds the back. All right, I will go on record as saying that I don't mind Fog of War in some situations if the map is built for it. If it's just tacked onto a map to make it harder, then I don't like it. Yeah, this map in particular actually works with Fog of War because it is defense map. You are yes. just trying to hold out until the map is over. Oh, I mean, man, I did not realize this guy had a unibrow. Mm -hmm. I am sorry, sir. Yeah, I mean, as ugly Fire Emblem enemy generals go, it's he's pretty either, low on the list. It's either a unibrow or his forehead's casting a shadow. I'm leaning I think you're thinking get, way uh, too hard into that. I'm yeah, leaning forward unibrow. to get a, uh, a better look at it. Oh, Some good side three burns. houses are going to have Fog of War. Here's a better question. Hey, Crum, did Fates have Fog of War? No. Okay, then maybe three houses won't have Fog of War. I can't yep, remember. I, if, I can't remember if Echoes had it or not. I feel like it did, but I can't remember. I can for only what pray. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Three I've houses. been. People have agreed with my kind of sort of no that it did not. Oh, it had, apparently had one. <laughs> it probably was on a path I didn't play. That's weird. How do you have only one map in the entire game? Because it was a games. rush job, and that game has problems. Anyway. Conquest, the one with decent mechanics and absolute trash story. Or oh, man, you have one. no idea. You have no idea. Like, people can describe how bad the uh, plot line is in Conquest, but until you experience it firsthand, it is... Woof. Yeah, All right. Like, there's a reason I just didn't bother buying it. I had fun, but yeah, I can understand people being hesitant on that. All hey, right, time it's... to redistribute items, because you have the chance. There's number one. Yeah, it's either... Well, that javelin either goes to Gatry or it goes to Oscar. Uh, oh, yes. Oscar has enough movement that he doesn't super need that. Well, remember, it's a defense map. Range attacks are going to be important. Yeah. Gatry is probably just going to be a wall on the front line, too. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get that to Oscar. Again, I don't think there's a wrong choice here. It's just more who can get more experience out of that javelin. It's going to be Oscar. All right, I don't hate Titania's loadout, Shinon. Dude's here. Might want to yeah. give that steel axe to somebody else, though. Mm. Yeah, this this is the point where Shinon's oh, going to actually wait. have to start. Never mind. Point. Everyone else is fine. I'll just hand it off to Boyd or to Reese. Well, it's mostly that there's not much room. Yeah, but it's better than leaving it in Shinon's inventory. Well, the other two already have steel axes, and Breeze doesn't have any room in his inventory. He has one space. He has one space, and it's not like he's going to kill anything and get a weapon. I just yeah. realized, like, yeah, he can't kill anything. What am I thinking? I'm sorry. I've already leveled him up in my head. <laughs> I 
That's, that's a great way of thinking about it. His inventory would be full. Is he going to kill something and get a drop? <laughs> As a level five priest? Extremely no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Drum has caught the derpies. What? What? Wait, what's that? Who? Who am I talking about? Don't worry about oh. it. Oh, Reese, what stats did he gain? All magic all the time, baby. What stats did he gain? A rank in light tomes. I think for me, he didn't... He might have gotten magic? I can't remember. I literally can't remember some he's of the levels. Gotten, I think he's gotten magic. He has not gotten speed because he's still locked at that I five speed. More Oscar, importantly, he's gotten one defense. Oscar got speed last time, right? Oscar got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Boyd had, like, one bad level. Oh, Boyd's gotten plus one to every set except magic in two levels. So he's gotten plus ones across the board. Okay, that's... That's biorhythms. Yes. That's biorhythms happening. Okay, I see. Yes. That's this game-specific number, Wang. Eventually, we will talk about support. Because I was looking at I was looking at them right here, and I was like, what the fuck are these arrows that are on people? And then I had the epiphany of, that's biorhythm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, looking at Ike now that he's level 9, he's fine. He's fine. I can't believe he's fucking level 9, but he went to like two maps with pre-promotes on him. Got yeah, because you had the pre-promotes twiddle their thumbs for literally the entire yeah. map. As if you possible, do. this is a map to get a lot of experience on Boyd, Oscar, and Soren. But yes. if you got to get kills because it's a defense map to not get overrun, yeah, 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 yeah. it's a, it, yeah, yeah. the general defense play of... If you need to get a kill, get a kill. Yeah, like yeah. this is a map where having Shinnan shoot a man is 100% permissible. Yeah. And as much of a shit heel as he is, he's good at his job. He okay. can weaken it. I think at this map, you can start having him weaken people without I him just outright killing I think he's fast enough to double him. his steel bow, though, so you can just kill a man. Oscar's going to be on the front line. Boyd's probably going to be on the front line. Gatry's definitely going to be on the front line. Oh, yeah. The only people who can't be on the front line are Reese and Soren. Alternatively, and call me crazy here, I might slide that elixir over to Boyd. Not a bad idea. That's not a terrible idea. Because not he, a bad idea he has all. the most HP outside of Ike, who just decided to gain HP every level. He's got more HP than everybody, uh, like roughly the same as a lot of other people that are frontliners, but he doesn't have their defense. So he's going to take a lot more damage. Reese, you get to carry all the items. Yep. Eventually, someone's going to use that speed wing. We'll figure it out. Speed is so important that you definitely want to make sure you use it on the person that definitely needs it. Yeah, as an aside, incidentally, take a look at the enemy loadout for this map to see what you might loot if you decide to go kill. Mm -hmm. As always... Oh, that's not the button. This one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look. Yeah, Steel Lance. Steel Lance is there, right front and center, so you need to die immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy has an effective speed of, I think, zero. Iron, or close iron, to it. Iron, iron. Hammer! Danger I think the hammer Robinson. dude's off to the left. Okay, so that's not where we send. Uh, we can say, send Gatry over there, but we need to send Gatry to back up. I think it'd be better to have Gatry just go right down the front. You think? Yeah. Gatry will choke this point. Yeah, yeah if we switch Gatry and Oscar's spot, he could... Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, by the way, you don't have to cover the right. You just have to cover the left and the bottom. Uh -huh. The right is where your dad went. Yeah, dad's over there. Another steel lance at the bottom. Iron blade. We could give that to Ike. Yes, you could. Or, you know, other characters that appear. But yes, the boss man has an Ashura, or an, an Ashura icon, which you I, may want to take. Well, we'll get there. I always leave the bosses yeah. to look at last. Yeah, he switched uh, <laughs> through it real fast. <laughs> what? Sorry, I just looked at this mirror down with zero speed. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, actually, by virtue Three. of being a Mer yeah, Mermidon, he has... Two. No, two. Yeah, two. Sorry, two. 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 This guy... Has three. This guy is three. This uh, guy's training for his guts cosplay. <laughs> Those guys are pretty much there to catch you off guard. Like, oh, it's a, a swordsman. They can't do that much damage. Well, you know, Ooh, range boy. Keep you in mind. Archer. 
Archer with a steel bow right next to him. Archer with a steel bow right there. Alright, so there's some heavy archers. And then Shara's icon, which is the luck up, if we can kill the boss. Yeah. Yes. If you can get to him, go for it. If you can't, it's just luck. It's not the biggest thing in the world. It's just luck, he says. Luck is great. Luck is fantastic. Luck carried our trouble doors. Well, that they don't need it. <laughs> when you get to your healers, your other healers, they won't need luck. They'll take care of that on their own. All right. That said. Last thing, let's reposition units. So I think the front gate, you need two people to block. Uh, you kind of need two both ways. Yeah. But, yeah, I can... Uh, what's his name? Boyd? Then you can run, clean up. Spear Boy, go to the front. Boyd and Oscar can take care of the left. Yeah. With a little bit of healing. Healer will stand in the middle and run back and forth as he is needed. Pretty much. Just be careful that... Uh, when there are ranged units near the front lines. Yes. Because then they can peg him. It if he seems, and I'm going to double check this real fast before we uh, before we start. Uh, all right, so there's one ranger over there, and this horseman that has an iron. Okay, iron lance. So yeah, there's one ranger on the left. All the horsemen are coming from the bottom, or ranged units. Can I check? Can I uh, ask you check something real quick with how far Boyd can move? Can he get to that heel uh, hedge? Um, can you just click on him to see how far you can move? You can have to, you can check his move in his personal window. Because if he can get to that hedge, that's very useful. If he oh he has to move six, he's fine. He can get there. Because he can go down three and then over one and then. I mean, if we also just get in there. swap Oscar and him. Well, if Oscar stays where he is, he can go over and whack someone and then walk back. Hmm. Right, Kanto. Yep. Okay. After 30 minutes into the stream, we're finally ready to do a fight. And there's our pre-fight safe state. Good one to use. Perfect. He can get exactly far enough to plug up the hole. Wait, were we saying Gatry needed levels? No, no, no. No, Gatry's gonna choke a point. And he's gonna get some experience, but the people who need levels are Boyd, Oscar, and Soren. Yes, Soren. Yes, okay. Yeah, the ones who haven't had a chance to be in every map. Yeah, because they had to go be Anything. elsewhere. I'll be right back. Hang on. Mm -hmm. So, he's got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so he, he can two, move four, up. Five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right. He can run up, smack this guy, and then take two steps back. Exactly. A lot of them are going to go for Boyd. That's great. Boyd's using an axe. They're all using spears. Oh. All right. Details. Dolphin. Set priority. Hi. Priority. One thing I do like about this map on hard mode, especially, is you need to use your pre promotes on hard mode. You will you will get wrecked otherwise. Okay. What Boyd has an iron S. Good, good, good. Yeah, he's fine. Gatry can stand right there. Stand right there. Soren. Let's see where the ranged. Soren can take a hit from an archer or something. Alright, can you take a hit from a steel bow archer is the question. Probably. How much uh, damage does that do? Twelve. Yeah, he can take a hit from that easy. Wait, hold up. Right. Good thing I remembered this. 
There we go. Steel. Yeah. Just to make sure. No damage. Yeah, on normal mode, Gatry's fine. He, he's not going to have an issue with this map. They're, they don't have magic users. Yeah, I mean, even on hard mode, he's not in huge danger. No, it would have been fine just to have regular iron lance. I didn't know he was going to double. A very dark map. Yeah, at least you can see everything. Game, please. Not to worry, he's going to get shot by an archer here in a couple seconds. Alright, we move up Shinon to be like right here, that way he can back up if need be. Mm -hmm. Move Reese up to right here where he's safe. Can he, can he heal Oscar before you move him? Uh. Oh, yeah. And he's out of the range on the left-hand side by doing so. Yes. Every little bit of experience counts. Mm -hmm. Also, that 4 HP might be useful here in a couple seconds. Also, man! Yo, I just noticed that staffs have durability of 40. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Gotta get those ranks. And Titania's ready to jump in and help if need be. Yeah, well, swap out on one flank or another. Oh. That was weird. But a little bit of a hiccup. That's not too bad. Get hooked on the brothers. It's just two brothers. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I was going to ask, and I got cut off the last time I asked about this. Where are, is just two brothers from? It's Rick and Morty. Okay. It's the episode of, like, Space TV or something like that. And it's, like, it just keeps coming back to something, and they're watching various uh, TV programs. And one is just this guy pitching a show, and it's just like, it's just, uh, it's just two brothers. They're just, uh, two brothers. And that's all he keeps saying over and mm -hmm. over. Yeah, interdimensional cable. There we go. Those hits in. Now we wait five hours for the entire enemy team to move. All right, let's see if we can get rid of some dudes. Yep. Time to cut a man down to size. All right, let's see what. Well, we know how defend works, game. Gatry will do. Let's if he can't kill. Let's see what Soren will do. Good call. Because if Soren does seven Soren damage, does then eight. Perfect. Then an iron uh, lance is fine. Yes. The iron spear is practically a single line on a plane. For him, yes. Ike's gonna get a little beat up here, but that's okay. He's got a healer right there. Yeah, we're gonna attack with Ike and then step over and heal him. Mm -hmm. The brothers yeah. are fine. The, the healer's gonna be alternating pretty hard between the two sides. All right. What do we got? Yeah, okay. Okay. It's sure. All, it's all right. It'll do. I've seen worse. I like speed on my mages. That's the only reason I'm like, yeah, all right. He's wielding a wind tome. He'll be fine. Can you steel sword that dude? I mean, that hit chance. But one hit kills. 
Eh, you're right. I always go for the higher hit chance. Oh, absolutely. But this one is a either one will kill, and you can save yourself a little bit of damage. Yeah, I don't, you have, you I don't have know a good chance if. I don't know if Reese could have healed him to full if he had taken another 10 points of damage. That is a phenomenal level. Oh, yeah. Sweet Jesus fuck. Yep, that'll do. Very Ike. Ike is here. Reese might get hit by a bow. Yeah, this this is the thing that worries me about this move, is that you could you have, could have Titania yeah. run up and yeah. just rescue him. And then Shinon, Shinon or... should be able to... Just pick him up and put him down. Alternatively, you could have Shinnan step out in front and then murder that other archer. Nah. Th then everybody might go for Shinnan, and then that kind of slows down the killing of enemy units. Alright. Speaking uh, of killing. Steel Axe, though, kills this guy. Perfect. Very good. And then Oscar can wander over and kill the guy with four health. And then Kanto right back. Yep. Gotta remember I could do that. I'm a little worried about Boyd getting doubled by a bunch of people, but he should be okay. Yeah, the heal hedge gives him enough. Uh... Yeah, he'll be fine. Also, he took like four damage from the one guy. Yeah, mm. he'll, he'll be fine. Hey, if you hit, you kill. He's fine. Hopefully level? Nah, they are both they were both just on the cusp. Okay, but... so when they get attacked this next turn, they're both exactly. gonna gain a level. And we're back to blocking. Here comes the bow, doing probably like zero damage. A couple. Yeah, it's point of Boyd, I'm sure. Or, ah, he did get doubled, but he uh, dodged one of them. So three points, that's not bad. Oh, hammer though. Yep. Wow. That's gonna sting. Hammer's He'll be amazing. okay. It's uh, okay. Reese is gonna come over and heal him on this next turn. Well, uh, well, 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 well. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's that? Oh, Boyd, Speed. yeah, I've definitely seen worse. We we take what we can get. Oh. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. These stupid one res stat lines just make me shake. Everybody my head. on the team needs res. Everybody will have non zero res. One thing that is nice about these games is a lot of people have halfway decent uh, resistance. Yes, this isn't this isn't Fire Emblem oh. 1 where oh. all the res gross that aren't on like oh. priests are awful. Uh, one more point, and you would have started the death chain. Where Ike just gets hit by a bunch of people. Mm hmm. We found Javelin Boy. Yep. Javelin Haver. It's alright, okay. Shin can run over and feather this guy. Why? Why do you want to give Shin kills? Getting rid of archers is going because to Because archers up. otherwise slow up everything. Yeah. You want to optimize the murder, newbie. So here's what and I'm thinking. And this way you can sort of gradually advance out the front door. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to have Soren take a step over. Uh, remove this guy. The one health guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Ike can take a step forward. Attack the javelin haver. Or the archer. Well, I guess well, So the archer... We can have Shinnan walk forward and kill the archer, because he's definitely yep. going to be able to kill that guy. And then Gatcher can take a step forward and stab the Steel Lance guy. All right. And in the that process, you will be able to also heal Ike, because they will both be moving forward, so Ike will be back to yeah. full health. If you, if you heal Ike now, he will advance into... Mm -hmm. Because... Oh, no, 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 I see. Yeah, he'll have to... He'll be fine. You, you may have to do some things, but yes. That uh, archer probably. Or over the hammer dude. 
I'm worried about this becoming a problem. Why? The hammer guy? I mean, if he switches back to an iron axe, he'll be fine. Yeah, if you're concerned, you pop a Volmary. Right, I have those. You have, Conversely, you have healing that doesn't rely on Reese. Oh, also, the axe will kill. Yeah, he'll, he can just he'll take a hit back, him. but yeah. All right, Maybe. Let's, yeah, let's that 26% hit rate doesn't look resolve. real. Resolve. Alright, hold up. Let's do some math real fast. Sure. How heavy is an iron, uh, a steel spear? You can Pretty check. Heavy. Somebody else has one, I think. 13. So that's 13 strength, 5, 4 speed. 3 speed. 3? Yeah. He had 7 strength. And it's 13, 3 speed, right. Uh, this guy has 4 speed. Alright, so that's not yeah. gonna work. As I was saying, if I could double him and just get a little bit more damage on him. I mean, if you don't kill him, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, you can just... Walk up, tag him twice, hope you get a crit because you've got a bond bonus by the brothers being next to each other. Yes, it turns out the brothers have, like, a secret support. Yep. Uh, Echo said those too. It was really neat. Twenty percent chance he not gonna hit. Twenty eight, twenty six. That's like zero. If he gets hit, you can have to Tanya come do something. It's fine. Yeah, he's fine now. Whoop. It's because he got that speed. No, that guy had like zero str uh, speed because of the hammer. That's right. All because of that speed. Hold up. I think Reese can get to. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I see. I see. I see the shape. Mm -hmm. Though that's gonna say that puts him that, in range of the archer. Yep. Are you? So you're gonna have you to put, cut your way through. Or we if, do that and then run over and pick him up and drop him off again. Yes, there's also take that. a hit. It's fine. Or you could just have a, a Titania grab him, right? Like she, yeah, she like can there, be there, a there's a shuttle. There, there is a, a, a way to not take a hit here. But then we can't heal next turn. Exactly. He can take a he hit. He can take a hit. One thing I just want to check real fast. Speed of five. This guy had speed four, so he'll be fine. Do staffs weigh? Staffs have weight. Why does staffs have weight? Game. Spite. Spite. Uh... Also, yeah, please do not drop spoilers. Uh, it was a mis mistaken map. That happens. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, if they think there are a couple maps ahead, then that's a thing. But Oscar's fine. Ike needs it more than Oscar. Yeah. He's going to be exposed to a lot more incoming fire. Oscar is going to be exposed to, like, two more hits, in, unless there's reinforcements, which there probably are. Let's be real here. If they pop up, they're going to be far enough away you'll be all right. Okay. Move one, move two, Shinon does an iron bow. Shinon does an iron bow. That'll do. Shinon does and crit. <laughs> Shinon shows off. This game actually does a pretty good conversion of GBA animations, all things considered. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have the really good smear animation and the really sharp-feeling parts of it, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything. Steel Sword weighs him down. Iron Sword's more guaranteed hit. He doesn't kill either way. Can I recommend, actually, that he just uses the Iron Sword? That's what I was saying. And then That's Titania true. walks up and hucks a uh, hand axe at that dude. Just get rid of the Javelin, dude. Because he's, he's stopping up the works. She can get a kill. Or we pray for a crit. That also happens, yes. Let's pray for crit. Praise, prayers were unanswered. Praise was unanswered. Hey, what's up? A 
love that animation for the hand axe in this game. Mm hmm. Because the hand axe goes out so fast in the GBA. Actually, seeing it fly around is great. Oh, right, and then she can just step back. Exactly. Canto! Got Canto is good. What if been... Gatry kills this guy because of a steel lance? Yep. Well, whatever. Good. Open up more space. What if Gatry just never takes damage? That guy should have dealt a point of damage. He dodged. <laughs> should. <laughs> Gatry's got the moves. There's a reason Grail keeps him around. <laughs> All right, let's see the damage. About what, eight? Seven. Right, you got a point of defense. That's right. That was nine, actually. He has 22 health. That's right. Three damage. Oh, you're gonna canto away like a coward. That's night. He used up most of his speed actually, actually getting there. Yeah, because uh, mounted units into bushes. Mm-hmm. Setting up another kill for Soren. They make a good combo. Mm -hmm. They do. Actually, we'll see if Gatry sets up a good kill for Soren. Because I'd rather like to actually get kills. I think this uh Ike mounted guy's gonna kills. this mounted guy's going to attack, get hit real hard, and then he's gonna wander away. Oh my so he, god, Gatry, what the hell? Gatry is unbreakable. It wouldn't have hurt him even if it had hit. Gatry is unbreakable. Ah, there's reinforcements. Hello. Not that bad, though. Let's see what we got. What we're working with here: a soldier with a steel lance. You're barely an issue, and an iron bowman. And Whatever. down here we have soldier, steel lance, steel lance, javelin. All right. Let's... If you're going to uh, start getting to that boss, you need to start pushing through. Yes, that's the plan. Cut your path. So close. Kill this guy with Ike. Move forward a little bit in the process? Yeah, have him no. take the space that the dude just took up. Because, um... We can't have Gatry. Gatry. Oh, right, Gatry can just take a step forward to fight. And use a steel, steel lance, lance and remove this man. Yep. His entire existence. And if we're going to rush forward, we can have the two pre-promotes take out the other two mooks. Mm-hmm. He gets doubled for zero damage. I like the guy just collapses on his horse. Horse is fine. Gatry is unbreakable. Be right back. Gatry I mean, needs yeah. speed. <laughs> it's almost like you just talked about every issue that all knights forever have. Except Amelia. <laughs> Amelia is the bestest she, knight. She, she doesn't count. <laughs> What do you mean? She's canonically a knight. She doesn't count! <laughs> Alright. Peep this shit. I could kill these guys and then Kanto up and be defending this doorway. Mm-hmm. And he can take a uh, hit from each of those guys, right? Check how much health he can... Uh, how much damage the, the archer and the other soldier oh, steel, deal. steel lance is maybe a problem. We can heal well, him. we'll see. It's 15 damage, and how much is the other one? Hello, Doc. After slay... No, we don't slay the moon. We praise the moon. Praise the sun. We slay, we say, slay the moon and praise the, the sun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got there eventually. Um, it might be worth it just to have uh, Reese... Heal Oscar? Heal Oscar, and then send Oscar yeah. off on his own. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, because then Reese can follow the main crew down to go deal with the boss. 
Here's the big problem. What's up? Okay, how much? All right, he's de gonna deal 15 damage, so either of the boys is fine. If he goes for Boyd, we can just have Boyd use that elixir that we throw on him. Oh, I was just yeah. Boyd will be fine, even if he's standing out in the open. Yeah. Because he's at what? How much health right now? Almost full. 18. He's almost half. Almost half. Yeah. He's still recovering from that hammer hit. <sighs> but yeah, welcome. He'll everybody. dodge. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll dodge. Welcome everybody, I just got hosted over to Femblem the Ninth. I'm fairly blind on this game. You're digging it? I'm enjoying it so far, yes. We could move him here. Hmm. No. Now I'm second guessing my move here. You know, we don't need to actually rush forward and block this entrance. They're not going to get in here. Exactly. Yeah. So we he can, can stay right there and be fine. And then Boyd can actually just stay in the heel bush. Yeah, he can pop out on the next turn to help out. But right now he just needs. He can to take stay in the heel bush and hopefully hit with this, this guy, with this. 85. Otherwise, we'll we'll talk about what we do. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. We're okay. fine here. Oh, this map's taking a bit. Eh, that's a defense map. It was a defense map and a lot of story before the map started. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't heal Oscar like I was going to. That's why he's his his health is low. I wouldn't worry about it then. He can take a couple. He can take those hits. Uh, he can actually, he can actually slide in there and heal. Oh, okay. And then he can meet up with the other offense. The other, uh... The other push. There is a word for it and it is escaping me right now. The other front. There we go. Uh, I meant to offer a suggestion before you attack. My bad. Too late. Yeah, it'll be fine. I agree with her going up to the ledge, though. She's going to start pulling in these archers. She'll pull in just about everybody if she goes to the ledge and uses a hand axe. And that's okay. You're not going to be able to kill everything down there. And that might get the boss moving, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's really no reason not to peg those archers with Titania and uh, Shun if you can. Yeah. Now we're taking care of the crew up here first, which is good, because that means all you're dealing with is the people coming up around the side. But this will get the other boys a-moving. And we put the two people... In range. Do I want to move her one to the right or is she fine there? One to the right's not a bad idea. Because it might get the boss moving too if he has a javelin, which I don't remember if he does or not. And Shin on. You can literally just stand right next to her. There you go. We'll have him take out the, uh, the other guy, Steel Bow. 100% hit chance. He is a good archer for a reason. This is staying a little bit, but not too bad. It's exactly what we were expecting. The steel ice oh, guy, yeah. the steel spear guy is going to come up and attack him too. He's going to get doubled in return. Yep. He would have been fine health-wise, but... That's just safety. Mm hmm. Well, hi, Javelin Man. You've chosen Good poorly today. Goodbye, Javelin Man. She's probably going to kill all their ranged units. 
Rest in peace. But again, this should get most of those guys moving. Ho oh ho! Steel meets steel. Steel is annihilated. The no damage tank is It's it's a real real good the greatest sound. addition to video games ever. <laughs> uh boss may die. No, he's gonna get beat up, but it won't I don't think it'll kill him. He is a knight. Or we miss. Ooh. Wish both those had hit. That's okay. That's okay. He's moving. Shannon can probably shoot him with the iron bow if you need more softening up. Perfect. Boyd got just enough health. All right. So how much damage we got coming in over here? Fifteen and nine. Boyd, I think, has armor six. Six. So that's seven. No. Nine and three, so that's twelve. Twelve. He's fine. He eats both of those. Yeah. Even if he hit, gets hit by the archer as well. Hmm. But he should probably take out the um, spearman there, and then hope that Oscar gets a double on the archer. I mean, he will, and it's well putting up the chance, but we'll see. Yeah. And then you'll be fine. This is another one of those, hey, what's up? Whack. Another level, too. Yeah, nine times out of ten, killing a boss on... Oh, yep. My boy's falling off. <sighs> Back I... to normal. Balance has been restored to the world. Holy shit. Annihilated. Oh man, he put that spear straight through a man's skull. And then waiting right there. Yeah. Is... They give each other their little bond bonus. Yeah. Actually, can we see that now? No. Bond that... is just 10 crit. That's all it does. Okay. Alright. Or five, this? depending on the character. That can't be set up. I believe there are also some characters that will block critical hits for Interesting. near them. Yes. Thank you for healing Ike. Which one drops the iron blade? Um one of those two guys that's wandering around the corner. And luckily, the two down here can grab a dropped weapon. Uh, so next turn is the last turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can just pull back and let those two sword guys hit Gotri. Or whomever. Probably just Gotri. And then the boss will move forward in the process and then swoop in and take him out. Incidentally, there is exactly one crit protection uh, pair that we have in our party right now. If Ike is next to Soren, he will prevent Soren from being crit. Which is nice. Do they have to be standing next to each other for supports? They have to be standing next to each other for crit protection. They have to for, be within a certain range for supports. For okay. bonds, it's right next to each other. For supports, it's three spaces. Alright. Gatry the Unbreakable pulls everyone in. I kind of hope this uh, Spearman goes for Boyd. Because he will double the dude and, Rude. if not kill him, almost kill him. Rude. 
alas. However, what about that double? It's a good double. A very good double. A double double, if you will. I usually drink triple triples because I'm a filthy degenerate. <laughs> With a steel lance, by the way. With a steel lance. Gatry is unbreakable continues. I forgot I had the steel lance on him. Oops. It's whatever. Our absolute unit. Chug, Wait, chug, what? chug, chug, chug. That wasn't... Who cares? Who gives a shit? <laughs> whatever. It okay. Yeah, okay. Hotta! <laughs> you you have made a mistake. Oh, he even got a weapon level up. Hooray. There is a little bit of a shrug at the start of his animation, so comboed with the, the no damage which just looked like him going. <sighs> And yes, his side B, Ike's side B is absolutely his unpromoted crit animation. Now, before you kill the boss. That's right, Soren. It's time for Soren to murder a mook. No, 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 no. Soren can kill the boss. That's that's fine. But clear up the left hand side in case it just ends the map. Oh, of course. Yeah, have Reese heal as necessary. That sort of thing. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the brothers can just clean house that way. Just two brothers. Can we get another? Give him another. Yep, he's right on the verge of a level, if I recall correctly. <sighs> what do we got? I'll take that defense. I'll take that defense. Well, one def uh, one defense on an actually quite chuffy character is a okay. Is it bad that I'm looking at Oscar and going like, well, could he trample through? Wait, no, no, wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. We gotta take out how many dudes here? Three. These guys aren't dying. <laughs> You could have Titania go kill one of them. Yeah, you can. You I can could have, have the pre promotes them. go kill those. Yeah, it's re XP. These guys over here are dead, from um, whatever reason. Well, actually, hold on. Make sure that the two guys are over here are dead first before you go deal with the other ones. Because mm -hmm. if that guy, yeah, that guy's a steel lance. Gatry can kill him. You're fine. Gatry is unbreakable. All right, just wanted to make sure that Ike actually had a spare weapon slot for when he destroys this man. Good call. Good call. How's that seal lands working for you? It's There's like a little bit of a head movement and like the shoulders move a little bit. So it just looks like he sighs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this again. My blade must kill another worthless man. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'll take that sword off you. And get a level. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it's okay. Ike being Ike. This this is a standard Ike level. This is why I call him Ellawood who lift. Because his, his growths are just a little bit higher than Ella Woods, and it makes him crazy. The only thing Ike is low on that I can see right now is his resistance. Ike actually has a good resistance growth, but who cares? It's a little low. That's fine. Everybody, so let's actually look at this real quick. Let me see if my, uh, my theory is running true here. That's right. Everybody's got positive resistance. Hell yeah. At least one. So I'm just double checking a few things right here. She has 100% chance to hit with her Iron Axe, just in case Soren actually 
I think Soren is hundred percent. Yeah, he's got hundred percent. Guy Soren can't just kills. crit him, so Soren just kills. So in that case, let's have the pre promotes go down here, go kill some people, and get some free experience. Yeah, and in the process of doing this, they will also take care of some guys in case killing the boss isn't the end of it. So when Soren's at six health, it's not a bad thing. I used the wrong bow. You did. It's okay. I just I just assumed that Iron Bow would be good enough. And that was my downfall. It's okay. So long as that guy dies, I think you're fine. Holy shit. Yep. Titania, did you really need to cut that man in half? Yes. So if we move here... You need to move her to the either yeah, one here, space here, to the right. Here, here. Yeah, either there or one space it, to the it right. It really doesn't matter either way, but yeah. Exactly. And then you're fine. Alright. Hey, good job. You made it through the map. Play Suikoden Boss Music. Tx. Mp3. Oh, six off. <laughs> Squishy wizard. What went wrong? Huh? Yeah, they they will just rush you if you kill them. Nice. Also nice. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yep, okay. By the way, what do you think his strength growth is? 20. No. Lower. Holy shit. <laughs> That's all you need to say. Shinon's here to tank. Yeah. No, but no, really, what do you think it is? Five. It is five. Jesus Christ. He's not getting strength. Good work. Oh, I just want to check something real fast. Hmm. Hmm? I'm going to up the game audio just a little bit. Okay. Right there should be it. Which I'll have to re-edit my document later. Like, chat can tell me if they felt the game was a little qu if the game was a little quiet. I think that just that map is supposed to sound a little quiet in the first place. Yeah, but there's battle music and you know, sound effects and all that. This sounds fine. Uh huh. I'm sorry. What was that? You cut out a little bit. The next. Mist's first response is, "Let's pack as many supplies as possible." <laughs> yeah. Okay. So obviously, Banner's she thinks yeah. she's in Banner. Yeah. You guys just got all the renown. Now you got to get the supplies. Thank God this game does not have as many spinning points as Banner side does. At least in Banner Saga, if someone gets dropped in combat, they're not gone forever. I mean... I, I was about to say, I kind of want to see Fire, em or Fire Emblem Banner Saga edition. Oh god. No. It would be so good. It's just all terror all the time. 
<laughs> Halfway through the game, you have to decide whether Mr. Rolf takes a shot. <laughs> yes! Is, is Rolf the Jeff of this game? Yes. Oh, boy. Rolf, I think, has a little too much personality to be a Jeff. We'll, we'll find our Jeff eventually. He's fairly generic from what I've seen. He's Let's also see. extremely young. So. That's so is Jeff. That's the point. No, Jeff is like young adult. Rolf is a literal child. Is Boyd Jeff? Boyd is extremely Jeff. <laughs> Boyd's closer to Jeff than a lot of other people. I'll give you that. Oscar, Oscar isn't Jeff because so far Oscar has less personality than Jeff did. is happening well more she's got some practical skills for life on the road giant flashing sign of practice sword fighting yes also she can ride a horse and use a sword like I said she has some practical skills The time cube. Well, it's more of a ring, but uh, it is neither. It's a medallion. That's right. Just like a ring. Um. This ring-shaped medallion. Mist, please don't wave that around. <laughs> Mist. You're not curious about where your only keepsake of your mother, which is this suspicious glowing medallion. It is... Yeah, it's glowing. I used to do that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Either way, I kind of appreciate this. Mist is like, yeah, that's a thing that happens. I wonder what the light means. I wonder why it started doing that. I mean, Mist's worn this thing in direct the, contact I'm with sorry, her skin. sorry, every time from... I hear this song, it just sounds like a fake song. <laughs> I don't... I think it's because it starts up with the fart trumpets. <laughs> eh. But yes, Mist has been wearing this thing in direct skin contact for many years. If it had deleterious effects, I think she'd notice. So one thing that uh, pops up, if the boss lived through this, he would have been killed right here. Seems about right. Yeah. Yeah, success or failure, life or death. So, the boss gets dragged away and killed. Hello, mysterious pink-haired person. Tanner skin, weird markings on the face, not important at all. Definitely not. I mean, we've already seen one character with weird markings on his face. We sure Help did. people, really. We sure mm -hmm. did. Pointed ears, yeah, as the chat points out. Yeah, the pointed ears are definitely more of a sign. But Soren has a prominent red marking on his forehead. Excuse me. Ah, oh, right, yes. And I'm guessing he's not a Dracula, so that really only leaves the one option of something else.
fair. What if I just murder them? What if I just kill? A what thing... if we have a competent opponent? Yeah, a thing that if, no villain in anything has ever said. What if I just kill them? Yep, Petrine is just gonna try and murder you all. Which, frankly, you know, there are worse plans. I just noticed her hand on her hip with her arm cocked back, or her hand cocked back like that. That looks painful. Look. It's too mm. late to look at it now, but... Well, that video took like an hour and 15, so I think we might... We'll see. I'm going to use the timer a little bit more, but we might be at one map per video territory already. God, no. No, it's the other one speed up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that was oh, an no, especially no, no. long Not map per video. stream, Vinay, per video. Oh, per I split video. These. Anyway. Excuse me. Next time. The planes, I guess, were running away? I... Running away. Running away.